Hi folks, I'm Keith from My Point Exactly. Streets and Trips 2011 is here, and maybe you're new to Streets and Trips, or want to check it out before upgrading to this latest version. Here's a quick video to show you how to download the full function 60-day free trial and what you'll see during the process. First off, go to Microsoft's Streets and Trips website. You can get there quickly by typing microsoft.com forward slash streets into your web browser. Access to the free trial is conveniently placed right here on the home page. Click Get Free Trial. And then click Download the 60-day trial. This brings you to the Microsoft Download Center. The description explains that you can run Streets and Trips 2011 free for 60 days. After your trial, you'll purchase and enter a product key to remove the 60-day limit. Note that this is a large download, so you want to do this with a high-speed internet connection. My download took about 40 minutes, but of course your time will vary with connection speed. When you're ready to begin the download, click Continue. Next, Microsoft recommends you register. I've done so previously, so we'll choose No and Continue. Now click Download next to the file named st2011.exe. A file download dialog box will appear. Choose Save and save it to your desktop. And the download will begin. Once the download is complete and files have automatically been copied, choose Run. And then choose Install. Depending on what's already been loaded onto your computer, you may see a dialog box that informs you additional components need to be installed. Click OK to continue. Note this will probably take a few minutes on your computer. Again, my laptop was about five minutes. Once the additional required components are installed, you'll be presented with the installation wizard to guide you through the installation process. Click Next. Enter your name. If you are already running Streets and Trips on your machine, it will be automatically detected. Take a moment and decide whether you plan to keep your previous version of Streets and Trips or not. The Keep Previous Version box is already checked, so to delete your previous version, you'll need to uncheck it. I'll keep my previous version and click Next. Click Next to install Streets and Trips in the designated folder. Review the installation summary and click Install. Again, this will take a few minutes. My laptop happened to take about five minutes to install. But of course, yours may be less or more time. When complete, you'll see the Installation Successful screen. Click Finish. Now close your web browser. You'll notice two files a st2011.exe file and a folder. You can delete these. And by the way, the background image here is a place called Diana's Bath, a state park in North Conway, New Hampshire. When you get 2011 loaded, type Diana's Bath into the search box to see where it's located. If you've never been to North Conway, New Hampshire, I highly recommend a visit. Streets and Trips will get you there and help you plan out a fantastic visit. Now, go to your programs and see that Streets and Trips 2011 has been added. Open it up. You'll be asked to agree to the license terms and then be presented with an activation screen. The screen lets you know how many days you have left in your trial. If you've purchased a product key, you can choose Activate Now to remove the 60-day limit. But, since I'm going to run the trial, I'll click Use Trial Now and Streets and Trips starts up and I'm ready to go. And that's all there is to getting started with your Microsoft Streets and Trips 2011 free trial.
Thanks for watching.